Wow, look at those beautiful mountains. I'm here in Provo Canyon Park right now. Just uh, gonna film a tutorial, taking inspiration from my last standing Webster tutorial to get some like pretty shots if I can. Everything is still pretty dead out here. But I'm gonna make this tutorial more in depth. The other one was more just like a lot of slow-mo and more like that relaxation, meditation, feeling video. So today, I'm just gonna be uh, focusing on making a more in-depth, elaborate tutorial. Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> You're fine. That looks like something to grab and run off with. Yep. <laughs> that dog tried uh, grabbing the camera out of my hands. Good thing that didn't happen. <laughs> Anyways, man, look at this. Those just snowy mountains contrasted with where I'm at right now. It looks pretty cool. It'll look even cooler once everything starts turning green, but this is what I got to work with for now. It's still a pretty cool location. I'm just hiking up on this hill just so I can get a cool view when I film the demonstration of my trick. Depending on how windy it is, I don't know for sure if I'll be able to do all the talking up here, but we'll see how it goes. So it's just an adventure. Exploration tutorials, here we go. Now my plan is to do a tutorial on the double leg, which I don't have the best double legs, but I can do them. So I can do a tutorial on them. But sometimes if I'm not feeling the trick, then I won't do the tutorial on it. That's just what I'm planning on doing today. Let's see how it goes. Now ideally I wanna be right on top of that hill, but that just means more hiking to get up there. Not that there's anything wrong with hiking, I just don't want to be worn out, not be able to do the trick well enough as a good demonstration. I also went skating just before I came here and I forgot to bring <laughs> my parkour shoes, so I'm doing this tutorial and hiking in skate shoes. I mainly just went skating for like 15 minutes because I find it's a great warm up. It's low impact if you're not doing high impact things and it's fun. The other thing I'm worried about is in an area like this, there's lots of rocks and holes and divots, and so I'll have to find a decent flat spot so that I don't roll my ankle again like I have in the past. That wouldn't be any good because I actually have a job tonight. <laughs> it's going through the night, so ideally I'm going to avoid anything that might cause that to happen. I'm almost there. Here we go. One thing I'll have to keep in mind is that every hill I make it to the top of, there's always another hill. So I'm gonna have to settle on a hill and just stick with it and not keep looking ahead to the next big hill. Woohoo! I did it. Made it to the top of this hill. And obviously, there's more hills, but I think I'm gonna stick here. And it is windy, so we'll see how well it works recording a tutorial up here. It's so beautiful. I also just got a new wide angle lens for my A6000, so you can get amazing landscape shots. Look at that, it's so cool. All right, just finished my tutorial for the day. Let's see if I can make it down this hill without dying. <laughs> 